Thanks for tuning in to the Elwin Channel, a place where we discuss topics about life, health, history, theories, to design. The tree of life is a bridge between the conscious and subconscious, allowing you to access the infinite knowledge from the subconscious mind and getting connected to the source of all creation at the same time. Origin unknown. Fun fact number one. Although many people believe that sacred geometry is a religion or faith-based type of philosophy, it's actually simpler than that. It's plain mathematics taking place because it is literally found in everything since the ancient world. It is so embedded mathematically in every part of nature that it's even part of music in its harmonious sequences of notes. Fun fact number two. The Milky Way is a perfect depiction of sacred geometry out in the cosmos, as it features the Fibonacci sequence pattern so beautifully. This is our fourth installment on the Sacred Geometry series, and so far we have covered a great collection of shapes, ranging from triangle to square to the flower of life and the golden racial spiral, um, along with many more varieties. Keeping in mind that most of these shapes are rather known universally, it's important to note that their significance runs across a span of different cultures and perspectives. Today, we're starting with the Tree of Life, yet another intriguing and intricate shape that depicts the divine connections that are intertwining in the real world. This sacred shape was derived from Kabbalah, which is the Jewish form of mysticism practiced by many people today. Even though it is a derivative of Jewish philosophy and culture, it is known to go across many different parts of the world presently. The Tree of Life is characterized by 10 different entities or spheres known as the Sephiroth, which are all connected one to another all the way from the base and upward. Looking at it from starting from the bottom, the Sephiroths have been said to represent the physical world that we can sense and touch with our bodies, all the way up to the more abstract and soul-related consciousness of humans. Those who practice Kabbalah believe that as one ascends through these pillars of the qualities of the soul, they can reach the one creator of all. Furthermore, if you recall in our former videos, we mentioned that the Merkaba is yet another sacred geometric shape. Well, if you look closely at the Tree of Life, that famous Star of David is embedded and intertwined all throughout the figure, which represents the yin and yang, if you will, or that feminine and masculine pole that brings balance and harmony all together. And next, we're looking at the Fruit of Life geometric pattern. Although hard to see it at first, the fruit of life is a direct derivation of the beautiful and intricate flower of life. You see, the flower is made up of 61 interlocking and overlapping circles all throughout. But the irony is that specifically, only 13 of those depict the most powerful meaning. And thus, if you look closely at the flower of life and highlight those central shapes, you can easily distinguish that it's embedded with the fruit of life geometric shape. The reason it's so highly prized by enthusiasts of this subject is that they refer to it as the Holy of Holies, which is somewhat of a nod and agreement to the Old Testament temple mentioned in the Holy Bible. The 13 circles are claimed to be reminiscent of spiritual realms through which a person transitions in life. Which brings us to our next sacred geometric shape, and that is Metatron's cube. Wow, that sounds like some sci-fi philosophy, doesn't it? But what makes a Metatron's cube interesting is that it derives from the fruit of life. Because when we start to literally connect all the dots between and across all of those 13 spheres, we wind up with 78 lines. Experts on this subject matter say that it symbolizes a beautifully intricate geometric laws that bring together the physical realm of our world. The 13 circles are labeled as the feminine characteristics of our world and life in general, whereas the masculine characteristics of creation are symbolized by the 78 lines or rays transcending all throughout. Again, this is all known as a harmony and duality that some people believe make the world a better place. And that wraps up our video for the fourth installment of the Sacred Geometry series. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our content on your social media platforms.